Hello all. Um, I just wanted to come on here because um, something was bothering me. <laughs> um, as the title suggests, you know, it's really about, um, you know, welfare and housing and food stamps and all of that. And I had a couple of, I guess you can say, it, encounters um, with people, uh, especially here in the black community. And um, I recently just started a job and um, uh, driving a forklift. Well, it's a cherry picker, whatever. And, uh, you know, they, they pay us substantially more than, you know, just being out on the floor. I work in a warehouse. I've largely been working in warehouses a lot. And um, I'm going to preface this by saying, like, no matter where you are, I encourage you not to stay there. And that's really the point of what I'm, what I'm saying is um, I actually continue to... No, I, I'm sorry. I'm saying continue. You probably see it on my glasses, but um, because of the YouTube. But um, don't stay where you are. Always continue to push forward, no matter where where life takes you. Always strive for better. You know. Always um, keep hope alive in yourself, no matter how grim and how grave things get. No matter how difficult and hard, because I myself have been there. I've experienced um, spiritual death. Like I am, like Lord, I can't, I can't do anything. I feel like I'm, you know, hopeless and useless right now. I can't, uh, you know, provide for myself and my children, and all of this stuff. And I was just feeling very hopeless. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, when I come out on the other side of all that I'm going through right now. I'll have a wonderful and beautiful testimony to share with you all. But um, I was at this job that I just started uh, for the cherry picker and this young lady comes to sit by me. Um, I saw her in the, you know, the, the orientation and um, she comes to sit by me and then she asked me where, what position I was in and I told them I was doing the fort. Told her I was doing the fort for this. And uh, the thing about it was that was kind of threw me off was because like I, like I'm talking normally. I couldn't talk to her that way. If that makes sense, um, she had a. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like I couldn't talk. Like this might come across as bad but a certain level of intellect you know she wasn't going you know um she wanted to stay at a certain level of conversation that was uh, vapid and void and didn't have any real substance or merit but i was telling her that the position in which i was in you know pays more and has more of an opportunity for overtime because you know with seasonal jobs um, one of the first people to go is is really um, the picking people and stuff like that. And she says to me, "Well, um, her main concern was I'm I'm being very generous with this. Um, her main concern was, you know, making too much money uh, that she wouldn't be able to qualify for food stamps." And I said, "Oh." Uh, well, you know, that can be, a, that's a blessing that you have food stamps. I do not. And, um, but I said, uh, for longevity and just for, um, you know, having something to take with you, I think that you should try to, uh, go ahead and do the cherry picking, uh, the forklift, um, position. And, um, if you want to switch, you know, here are the trainers and supervisors, um, names and whatnot <sighs> I mean I just I'm sorry I just find it very disheartening and to be honest just me speaking personally for me I'm look 
I need you not in my circle. I don't want people that are just going to underachieve so that someone else can feed them. I know we have this culture in the black community, but it's it's a bad one. Underachieving and 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 we all start somewhere, but staying in these warehouse positions, staying at working at Walmart, staying at working at these very low level jobs and hospitality positions in which, you know, a lot of low income um, black people or African American, whatever you wanna say, are in, even if you're not African American, but staying at that level, um, it's a great stepping stone, but let's push forward. Let's do more and better. Let's, you know, carve out the time, carve out the, um, the mental process and healing to put our mindset into into achieving higher heights, despite you know what life is dealing with us as right now, despite our decisions, so that you know those that come after us can 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 do even more. And I think a lot of that is getting lost, especially within the black community of um, how to attain wealth and be better and be in better positions for ourselves and our children and our children's children. And um, let's start thinking a little bit more ahead at how we want, you know, not only our lives, but our children's lives to be. And if I think if we've, you know, thought a little bit deeper than, you know, what we see right now and what we're doing right now, I think we would be a lot better off because this wasn't the... That happened in the conversation, and I had this another conversation as I was in a, I was in this uh, ride share, um, in this ride share back to Dallas, and we, me and this lady, black, uh, black lady, had the same conversation about how you know while government assistance, if you need it, is um, it's there for you, but don't stay there. Don't allow, you know, this, allow someone else to have uh, control over whether you sleep, eat, breathe, live. Because, you know, in my mind, and for me personally, food stamps is, is saying that you can't feed yourself. And, and it's just very heartbreaking to me that so many of us have to, are, are, are living this way by choice or not by choice that I want us to have a sense of pride and value in ourselves that we can afford our own foods we can afford our own meals so I just um, I know this might be may may sound harsh to some or you know um, I haven't had food stamps since how old is how old is my daughter maybe since my oldest daughter she's 11 now so like um like two years old i haven't and i have two other ones so um i have three children you've seen them on this channel but anyway like i i just it's hard for me to be sensitive because i know that we can do better and you know, making it a lifestyle, making it a culture out of the welfare system. And um, I just I just don't understand it. I don't understand how this is something to be flaunting around. How this should be something that we can, we should be, you know, taking pride in. Not to shame people, but, you know, aim for higher heights than yeah, the government feeds me. I just don't see how it's, you know, a, a good thing, you know? I just don't see how this is a good thing. And I want, I want, you know, young women and young men to know that there is better out there and, you know, get out of the circles that are influencing you and telling you that, you know, this is what you need to be doing when you're well able and capable of doing more and better. Stop trying to fit in the box of, um, I have this amount of money, 
so I need to stay under this amount of money to live for free. When there's so much joy and pride and beauty in allowing God to, you know, mold and cultivate you into doing better and for yourself to do better than staying in a box in a sphere or circle of people that this is all you need to do to, to do anything. Well, more than your hair and weave, more than your weed, more than your drinks, more than your shoes. You're more than that. And God has so much more than you than that. He can utilize you in so many other beautiful and powerful ways that have nothing to do with a food stamp, with a pack of hair, or your blunts and weed and whatever the heck else y'all got going on, you're more than that. And um, I encourage you to step up to the plate of being so much more than that. And also I wanna say that, you know, going to school, because this just came across my mind, going to school and re tuition reimbursement programs are not a scam. If you're looking to learn something, go learn it for free. If it's there and available to you, research it, ask questions, and go do it. Get out of these circles of men and women that are leading you wrong and leading you astray, leading you to be ignorant, to where the only conversations in which you have are just vapid and void and have no substance. You know, be greater than, than those around you and those that are telling you that this is all you can do and this is all you can be and you need to do this, this, and this and so you can take care of this. You can take care of it by yourself. You don't need the government. You don't need it. You don't need it to have such a, a hard control over your life like that on how you buy things and how you, and how you house yourself. Um, if you need those things, I'm not knocking you, but, you know, don't stay on those things. Don't stay in that bubble and box, you know, of, um, of, uh, lifestyle. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ has so much more, um, for you and readily available to give you when you start making those changes in your life and how it, letting him, you know, shape and mold your mind. And then, and then your mouth and then your actions so that you can be better than anything you could ever imagine. All right. But, you know, I pray that this helps someone, encourage someone. Um, uh, be safe, be kind, be wise. Bye-bye.